they know. I love. They know that we're filming, and he just backed it up so he could get late. Sponsorship. You have to pay for that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come together right now. Over Starbucks. For that advertisement. Again! Again! Come on, Lays! Come on! You're not ready for this. Hey guys! Yeah! But we decided we were gonna get out of the room and I got hair in my mouth. And film our this assumptions video. And we figured while we're still in the tea, we're drinking our coffee. I got a refresher because I wanted cold drink, but I'm gonna try Tracy's too. Okay, like this is a taste test. You're getting all of the good stuff in this, all right? We did mobile order because Starbucks line was out into the street. One of your assumptions may or may not be that we have social anxiety and you would be correct. And I wanted a fancy drink, so I was kind of secretly happy that my we could do mobile, mobile order. order. Yeah. If I can be as picky extra, extra as I want bougie. and I don't have to tell somebody else that, I mean, they might judge me when they're reading it. If you but. can relate to that, then give this video a thumbs up. It's super appreciated. And want, if you're new here, subscribe. I want y'all to know I did this different. So I didn't get strawberries and I added a sweet and low. Try it. It made it sweeter and not as like bitey. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is a grande latte with cascara topping, one pump caramel syrup, two pumps toffee nut, and one pump white mocha. Who is she with that order? Who is she? So there you go. If you want to save it, you can screenshot it. And I don't know if it's any good. I'm very excited about it because I got a regular mocha the other day. It was nasty. It was basically hot chocolate. Do not Here recommend it. It was a salted caramel mocha. Blech. Nutty. Nutty, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna like the nutty, but. I wish I had a, a sweetener pack. It's a little like, maybe I should have done whipped cream. You know what? It gives me the like, per, per, per con. Chestnut, praline. It's not that bad. I like it. It's, it's a nice uh, full flavor. That's good. I'm excited. Okay, I can drink this. And then we got sprouted green bagels. We're on the other side of our town because they have just not have been having it at our other Starbucks. Are, are, you, are you ready I'm for ready. the first one? I'm ready, I'm ready. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. I told oh, them. Yeah, don't do that. I mean, don't do, do that. that. Do that. <laughs> don't not do that. If okay. you've never seen us before, I'm Tracy. I'm Stephanie. And we make videos about Whatever makeup, fashion, want. affordability, vlogs, lifestyle. We like to eat stuff. We like to do drive through We make, we make muk videos bongs, muk bongs. about whatever we're excited about, featuring a very hot mess life because who has all their together not me no me all right you ready for the first one yeah first assumption is you love these nuts <laughs> thanks maddie and kelsey we both like to say we like these nuts if you guys didn't know we have an online store and uh maddie and kelsey work with us on yeah. the online store side of things they so. got jokes they got jokes they got jokes okay the first assumption is that we are not twins and you would be correct we are in fact not twins, we not are twins. sisters. We had either that we fight a lot or that we never fight and we get along perfectly. Or we have knockdown drag outs. And I feel like both are kind of wrong because I feel like we fight mediumly. We fought before this video started. We fight not every day, but we probably have some disagreement in a sense every day. Knockdown drag out type fights are rare. rarer. And especially I feel like as we get older and- They're, It's easier it's, to handle the situations. Yeah. I remember reading this one. It was like, I feel like you've never had one like beat in the door kind of fight. Anything close to those fights would have been like a long time ago. Like when we were younger. Do you remember that one we had in New York where a plate got broken and a hairbrush got broken? Yes. <laughs> so that wasn't that long ago. That was, you know, within YouTube time. Like 2013, 2014. Uh, what happened was a hairbrush got thrown and it broke the plate. Is that what happened? Yes. I don't remember. So like it, it like wasn't that. an intentional like plate break or anything. It was like a hairbrush, like one of our personal items, and then it broke the plate. Yeah, and then oh, we man. took the plate and stuck it in a garbage can outside. <laughs> Cause we were definitely in a hotel. Oh man. Accidents happen. That plate probably cost them a dollar. Yeah. Even. Okay, probably number uh, number one most assumption was that we don't want kids. I wouldn't say that for me it's a hard I don't want kids, but it's just 
not high on my priorities because I can't also make the decision whether I do definitively or do not. It's just not happening. I think right now. I was watching Fly with Stella and she got this question. She was um, answering, she was doing a Q&A. They're on a road trip. Yeah, I'm gonna butter my bagel. And she said that they've talked about it and I think they're kind of in the whatever's in the cards they'll be happy with. I am much less in the if it happens cool because I have so many anxieties about things changing. I have a lot around the idea of getting pregnant, being pregnant, what that does to your body, not in a vanity sense, but in a physical changes sense. It freaks me out. So, you know, like I enjoy people's kids, but I also know how I feel about my time and stuff. And I think, you know, if you know that you lean towards being slightly selfish with your time, then maybe kids aren't for you. Yeah. Maybe you're more of a dog person when, and it's not a bad thing, but I know that I hate when my dog is sick and I'm up with my dog because maybe Memphis was really sick and puking because he's had health problems. At, like Tracy said, I'm selfish with my time and that's, you know, hard and I props to people who are parents yeah. um, because it's hard. I can only imagine. So I, I think knowing what you want and knowing where your strengths and weaknesses are is better than just doing something because you feel like you're supposed to do it and then not having the life that you necessarily wanted. Like I said, I'm not, also, I'm not a hard yes or no. And I think that I should be more of a hard yes to do it. And maybe in a couple of years, I will be a hard yes. And maybe I'll be too old to have kids. Maybe I'll adopt. I don't know, but I'm not really making super plans. I also it. just have this feeling of like, I've been this way for a majority of my life and I Everyone's like, it'll change, it'll change. And it hasn't really changed. And I think the only thing, and this may sound really awful, the only thing that I have any kind of fears over is like, what about when you get older, you know, and you don't have kids to take care of you? Or what if something happens to the people in your life? And you're and all alone. You're alone. But I don't feel like that's the right reason yeah. either. There's a lot of internal struggles with it. You're both messy AF. <laughs> yes. Nailed it right on the head. You I am know what? messy. I am cluttery. I have things that I don't want to let go of for sentimental reasons, you know, like that straw, I mean, the knife wrapper, we're gonna hold on to that for a while. I'm just kidding. But I do have a sentimental element. Is your car vacuum at the office? Yes. I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm dropping seeds everywhere. I'm just gonna keep going because you're actually doing that and I'm waiting for mine to get a little softer. Okay. You only film YouTube videos still because you feel guilty and don't want to anymore. That right. is, Huh? Like we only film them because we feel we guilty, feel guilty for not, not it, and so that we actually don't want to. No. And that's completely opposite. I would say before we stopped for a little while, we had a guilt and a, mm -hmm. a feeling of we had like to. Like a pressure, like we can't walk away from it, we can't stop. Because there was this fear of like, what would happen if we stopped? Yeah. Because it was our career for most of the last five years. Is that right? No. That eight, seven, I don't know, a long time. And so it, it was a fear, but now I think we're back for the right reasons. And we want some of the same things that we wanted then, but not in the same way. I just think that we're more mature and- Well, I think we have we, a little more handle on the boutique. Yeah, yeah. We were struggling with balancing time for the two places. And so YouTube started to become kind of like, not an afterthought, but it definitely wasn't getting the time that we needed to give to it because of the store. And it sucked because we love both and we couldn't find a way to do it. Sir, I'm, I'm actually filming a video and I know you're trying to make a delivery of Lay's potato chips, which they know, I love. They know that we're filming and he just backed it up so he could get <laughs> Lay's. Sponsorship. You have to pay for that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh my god. They didn't pay for that ad. They really did not. They really did Lays, not. Lays, I'm going to need you to come at us in the email you owe us for that advertisement. Again! Okay. Again! Come on, Lays! Come on! I am screaming. <laughs> that was so good. You've never done anything illegal. I mean, I probably did illegal things on the way here. Right. You know, I think we all... I, I think people do illegal things every day. Do you go uh, two I, miles per hour I'm over the speed sure limit? We talked about throwing a broken plate away when we were in a hotel. If you say you've never done anything illegal, Steph was the more wild teenager. I mean, I would say we both had, we both had our fair share. I think all three of us did. Yeah, because... And there might have even been the worst. Mom found that list in my... I just... The only thing stopping me from being full disclosure is my grandma watching this. <laughs> I love you, Nanny. I love you. She was young once. She, she young was. and wild and free, she Nanny. Was. I don't um, even know that she watches our videos. Maybe, maybe not. I, I would say that we were equally wild. The worst part was that I was the last child. So mom, mom was like, whatever. She knew the tricks. Mm. 
she knew the tricks. The problem was, was social media started a lot when I was younger. And so she- Hotornot.com? <laughs> I was on hotornot.com. I was bad on the internet. Not bad, but like, I was chatting with men I did not know. I promise, I was. Not because it was like a positive, I didn't know. This was the problem back then, like AOL and chat rooms and stuff. Like it was very, it was scary. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about this. One of the guys that I talked to is a murderer. a murderer now. But anyways, she found a way to like look at my chopped her up instant and put chopped her up her body and put her in the back of like it's not funny, but it's like that holy moly, been you. like. That's that crazy. You. Yeah, she found a way to like read my AIM stuff. Like she, it started saving to the computer for some reason. And so she- And she was like, I'm not gonna tell her that. <sighs> no, well she printed them out and she handed them to me and she said, what is this about? <laughs> and I was like, oh God, <laughs> oh God. Ah, I got butter on me. Oh no. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know there's one about eating out. Okay, you guys make a lot of money from your business. I saw this and I wanted to talk about it because I think there is an illusion of success in all walks of life, of careers. Something to remember with YouTube is YouTube doesn't have a lot of overhead unless you want it to. Like right. if you want to hire people and you want to get the newest and best equipment, YouTube can have that. But YouTube doesn't have a lot of overhead. We were more profitable in our YouTube days. Mm -hmm a lot more profitable. Pretty much you make the money, you pay the taxes, you keep the rest. And then if you have managers agents or agents stuff. or lawyers. Mass I feel like we did a good job. And this is just a side note. If you are a YouTube creator, your agent, 10%, that's it. AdSense shouldn't get it. Uh -uh. They should only Nobody make money. Nobody helps you with your AdSense. They should only make money if they do something that makes you money. If they get you a deal or they negotiate the deal higher for right. you. Right. If they don't offer any improvement on whatever they uh, there's car napkins ah, i love car napkins we were always very adamant about not giving anyone a cut of our assets yeah because that was just what we got I from mean, making YouTube videos. We got kind of screwed in the early days because they were taking our AdSense without us knowing. Mm. We didn't know back then. They were. I'm talking about when we were on the flat rate. Yes, on the flat CPM. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you didn't know what CPMs were back then. Mm -hmm. And obviously they weren't giving you the full pass through because they had something to gain. Mm -hmm. So anyways, with YouTube, you can say to make a lot of money with no, nothing you have to pay. With Madison and Mallory, most people that start like an online boutique, a lot of them have to take out loans. Mm -hmm. Our loan was our YouTube money. Right. Um, I just leaked. <laughs> we have a lot of overhead. So we have a warehouse that we costs every month. We have employees. We have employees. We have all the bills for the warehouse, which because Utilities. it's a bigger place, it's, it's more expensive. So all the employees. When we got the warehouse, so it's like half office, half warehouse, we renovated the back space and we had to add an air conditioner. There's no air conditioning back there. And we're in Alabama, so it's really hot. Mm -hmm. Refinished the floors. It was like raw concrete. So we wanted to seal it because it was it kicked up so much dust and powder. We had to insulate the roof in the warehouse because if we had air conditioning and, and heating in there, it was going to be lost. Yeah. So we did a lot of improvements in this warehouse that, you know, is spread. I mean, it was all at one time, but we kind of justified it spreading it out over the time that we'd be there. A lot of money in that. The website that hosts our store costs money. That whole back end, the back end that hosts our Facebook stuff for our group, that costs money. We do ad advertising with um, Facebook, ads. Facebook ads and we also have an affiliate program, which with our affiliate program, the people that work with us as affiliates get percentages. We don't really work on flat rates right now. That's not something that we necessarily wouldn't ever do. Like how we would get flat rates from brands. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of overhead. A lot of in and out, in and out. And also I think, you know, because we are in a space that's about affordability, profit margins are not as big as they Some may budget. be in other industries. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, it wasn't that we wanted the boutique because we were like, this will make us rich. It wasn't about that. It was something- YouTube would make us rich. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like if we had never done the boutique and just stayed doing YouTube and stayed on that course. We probably would have made more money. Probably would have been better. But there's a fulfillment of, you know, doing the boutique and being able to give people jobs and creating this work family that we have that I feel like is just something that I didn't know I needed. Yeah. And I love it. It's fun. There's so much problem solving every single day that I live for. I'm very much about like, you know, figuring out solutions for things. I really like the operations side of it, which some of you guys ask like why I don't do the photos and I don't do as many TikToks. And I do love sitting here and talking to the camera. You can look back on our Instagram photos. I've never been that person that's like, let me post up and be like sexy cute. It's not my... I'm a like, three. Yeah, she's a three, I'm a one. I want 
to sit with spreadsheets and I want to figure things out and I want to rework our processes in the warehouse and make it the best it can be. So that's me. My problem is, is I have a touch of that. I want to solve problems, but I also need to go film that TikTok. Mm -hmm. But I want to do both, but I can't do both. So that's why. I'm... And I'm sitting over here like, Seth, your time management, I need to help you because it ain't happening. I want to do too much. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, Y'all swear a lot off camera. I love my mom and my grandma both swear a lot. <laughs> I do. I got it honest. I get it from our dad. All right, we grew up listening to our dad. He was a sailor. I'm going to be honest. If you swear on your YouTube channel, your it's, AdSense is not going to be as good and your sponsorships aren't going to be as good. We're, We're not, not doing it because... That wasn't our reason in the beginning. No. And I that's the whole thing. We found this out as we went. And so I there was a point... I in public cussing. I mean, maybe at work, but that's... Oh. <laughs> How is Cedar and gum? like a time and a place for it like i don't walk through the grocery store swearing um f they're out of my bagels i say f um <laughs> or mother trucker french yeah. toast i have filler words i don't have a problem with cuss words i do have i mean like a sense of class about it like if i don't know you that well i'm probably not gonna like just bust out the cuss words drop an f -bomb. but like if i know you really well and we're just like hanging out it's happening but when we started YouTube, I had a job. Tracy had a job. Mm -hmm. You had to be careful about how you presented yourself. And, and then, I still just don't want to be. There was a point where we were like, you know what? Maybe we let be a little edgy or whatever. But that was about the time where I feel like it started getting frowned upon by ads and sponsors. We were like, well, we already started out that way. So why would we change? Like, right. just keep it the same. I'm not being fake about it. We just don't cuss on our videos occasionally. It slips out and we like might beep it, but. I don't do that with my extended family. I don't do that with my mother-in-law. Like, I don't speak like that. I mean, our mom gets mad at us. Mom's, mom's gotten it a little more in the last few years. Once she started laughing when we were saying it, that's her fault. She made it shock factor funny for mom, us to cuss in front of her. on yourself. Okay, I cannot remember what we were getting her to say at Disney a couple years ago. Oh yeah, what was that? There was some kind of like, it wasn't really a bad word, but it was a word she didn't like. We just kept saying it and she was saying, Saying it and we, we were like four children I mean little kids okay. yes it was funny it was funny you like to have a good time in any situation yeah we do yes yes and yes life um, is short I'm living it up hey you should too this was funny you don't always put the shopping cart in the hood outside after you're done using it oh I can't damn. Stand when people leave it out. I know. I don't always put it in there because a lot of times when I go grocery shopping, Matt's with me and Matt will mm -hmm. put it over there. But but we're not leaving it out. Mm -mm. Usually it's like 10 feet away. But it's funny that there are places that you have to pay a coin deposit and you don't get that money back unless you return it. Why, why do they have just... to do that? Just return, be a good human being. Return it. I should not pay people to be good now. When the employees come out, they don't have to walk all over the parking lot to pick up your buggy. Rude. Bucky and I, when we went to the grocery store this week, he was taking the buggy back and there was one that somebody left in the middle of the parking space. He grabbed it and took both and put them back. You're sensitive that people point out that you like to eat at fast food places. Not sensitive about it. I don't care. I want, mm -hmm. if anything, more people to understand that it's okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to go do that, do that. Thanks for keeping your wrapper My around. My sentimental knife wrapper. Mm -hmm. I need sometimes to go get a roast beef sandwich from Arby's. I had a double roast beef for the other soul. night. It was delicious. I'm not sensitive about it. I think, you know. I think there's a misunderstanding about it with us. Yeah, I think when people see it on their, our videos, they think we eat it every single day, every meal of the day. And that's not the case. And then, you know, people are like, I wish I could eat like you do and not gain weight. It's very carefully done. Yeah. We could tell you if you wanted. That could tell you, like, sometimes on the weekends, he'll be like, hey, do you want to go eat, I don't know, five guys tonight? And I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, eh. So I ate out like the last day or two and I probably need to eat at home for like a day or two because I've been eating out a little bit too much lately. We scale it back. Like mm -hmm. we, we are aware. Now, does that mean that like if we're having family in town or we're whatever that we don't eat out like every single day for a week straight? Yeah. I mean, because we will. Yeah. But it's just being aware. You don't really drink alcohol much. 
not really. That's true, I really don't. I mean, aside from a thirsty Tuesday. Thirsty Wednesday. We always do it on Tuesdays or Wednesdays because, you know, happy hour and you get the cheaper ones. Like margaritas at mm -hmm. places and the occasional social. But... I've been buying like rosés and moscatos and stuff at the grocery store, but they're sitting on my counter unopened. Because for me, I have anxiety and alcohol and caffeine are touch and go. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the calories and then it's the feeling like crap the next day. And it's just not worth it for me sometimes. So I'm like, I have a good time no matter what. I don't need the alcohol to have a good time. Like I do feel for people who need that to kind of cut loose or like enjoy themselves or whatever. But like, mm -mm, we haven't, we, you got bagels, woo! My favorite bagel in the world. Get down with the bag, I don't know. Just whatever. <laughs> Also, we were supposed to be at market this week and we would have been eating and doing this, so this mm -hmm. is real happy. Yeah. We don't gain weight. I actually grow the uh, car wearing leggings like that, and I'm like, I wish my legs looked like that. Yeah, do my look like that. Mm. No. Mm. The girl in the front. I was gonna say, I feel like you're right and I'm left because they look similar, but the like left just girl slightly. Looks better. Well, you said that we're different on the bottom. We are. Not much, but like, that's why I said they don't look much different. My like, bagel's like, so good, mine's gone. Uh, mine's almost gone. But the next thing was, the assumption was that we don't gain weight, and we do. We do. I don't know, this girl run, rolling in like, she got somewhere to be. She got some Starbucks, yeah. Yeah. Being aware of food, portions, calories, all of it, I feel like you can kind of figure out how to maintain. I've maintained probably since 2013. For me, it all kind of started around 2005 when I started working at the law school and I was like, I, must on. I think I saw a photo at Steph's birthday and it was a very unflattering photo. And it was almost probably more about the angle than what I actually looked like, but it was a little bit of like a, I don't love that. Yeah. And so I started watching what I ate. I kept track of it with the MyFitnessPal and it kind of taught me how many calories on average is in certain foods. And it made it easier for me to, without even tracking, cause I don't track anymore. Like I don't put it in an app, I don't need to. I can tell myself like this Starbucks drink is probably around 400 calories. That bagel was probably also like four or 500. Like that was a lot of calories. Yeah. That's my lunch. And for dinner, I should probably eat something very small. But it's Friday, so who knows? Yeah, who knows? Also, we've been walking our dogs. I think that's helping. My pants feel better a little bit. Like, I felt good last night on the live. Yeah, I feel better. I think I need to walk tonight. Mm -hmm. Matt wanted to go get five guys, but this is a situation where I might have to be like, Matt, I ate out the last two nights. And, and we had Starbucks. and So I might need to walk instead of going. See, that's just, you just make choices. Something also, if you look at calories, will teach you. You can almost figure out things that are more healthy for you based on calories. Because something that is healthier is probably, you're probably going to be able to get a bigger portion for less calories. Some people think that they're bad because it's a restriction thing, but it's also just being aware of portion. I don't consider and, it a restriction. I consider but that's what it a I'm measurement. Saying. People think that it is, and it's it's not about restricting necessarily just the amount of food you eat because it's as you look at the thing. calories, you'll find things that are going to fill you up and not add as many calories, and those things are going to be healthier. Because you're like, I know that I have a budget. Anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 calories I can eat in a day, depending on whether I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight or maintain. Or maintain. And especially if I'm doing my 10,000 steps every day and allows for those times where I want to eat out. If I look at something and I'm like, I'm really hungry and I only have about four or 500 calories, do I want something that's tiny and fits in the palm of my hand like this Starbucks drink or do I want real food that's going to make me feel satisfied and fuller longer? We got a comment about that we talk about calories and dieting. You know, we're trying to make informed decisions about our health in the way that works for us. I am way out of high school, way out of high school. <laughs> so far. I am happy happier with how I look today than when I graduated from high school. I don't feel like I'm depriving myself. No. I don't feel like I'm miserable. Like I'm not going to the gym every single day and busting my butt. I'm taking fun walks around my neighborhood with my dog and my mm -hmm. sister and we're having a good time. And a lot of times when you are doing a bad diet, like a diet that is restrictive and bad, you will binge, mm -hmm. you will overeat and you will crave. Not a lifestyle you can keep up. Yes. I don't have those issues because just last you weekend- You let yourself have the s'mores cookie. Yes, I have a s'mores, I have a whole thing of s'mores cookies at my house. I've had three of them in the last three days. I've had two of them in the last two days. We only had two days, I think. <laughs> I'll have my third one today. But I have no problem eating the cookie or or things like that. But I know that that cookie is calories. And if I wanted to scale back at all, like my weight, 
then I would possibly try to shift what I'm eating that day so that I can have that cookie. I haven't, honestly, I haven't been restrictive all year. I've just been aware of what I've been eating. Mm -hmm. It's I, like if I start feeling my pants be a little bit tighter, which I don't even weigh every single day. No. I only weigh when I'm like, all right, Tracy, I think you're out of control. Where are we at? Let's get a benchmark. It's just a benchmark. And, and honestly, I, I talk about this with a lot of people. Just because my weight is a certain number doesn't mean that I look healthy, thin, thick, any, it doesn't give the full picture of how I look and how, how healthy I am. Cause when but, we do a lot of walking, I know that my legs feel tighter and I know I've got more muscle and then the number on the scale might go up. That's not like, I have not felt like I needed to get on the scale recently. If I know I've been bad and I know I need to get on the scale, it's not, the number hadn't gone up because of muscle. Yeah. It's gone up because I've been eating whatever I want, whenever I want. And so if you're not doing things that, that gain muscle and stuff, you know, the scale gives you a little bit of a benchmark, but for instance, if you're in the gym, or you're increasing a lot of your proteins and you're you're trying to tone and like, that's not going to give you the full picture because you're going to either stay the same or go up in weight because you're adding muscle. She has sparkly that, sleeves. I thought that car was going to so, hit Miss K. Basically what we're saying is is that there are things that work for people that don't work for other people. Mm -hmm. For us, we just are very aware of how much Lips we eat. before six. Right? Isn't yes. it cute? She's working. Yeah, um, she's cute. It's just a way for us to keep aware of what and how much we're eating. And there are other ways to do it that may be better for you. We're not health people. We're not doctors. It's just what we've been doing. So if you're like, hey. And when people leave comments like, oh my gosh, I wish I could do like you do. How do you eat this and not lose weight? That's this what, is we, what do. we do. Yes. I'm not telling anybody to do what I do. No. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. No. This is how we do it. But I ain't fasting because oh god no I gotta eat <laughs> no I mean I wake up and the first thing I do is start making my bagel and coffee if I go more than twenty minutes I feel like I'm gonna me and Matt out. get in bed at night and we go we look at each other and we're like I'm so excited for breakfast and coffee tomorrow I know I know me <laughs> like, too you know like we are not an eat to live we are a live to eat so we love food that is why we are. let ourselves have the things we want but are also careful at times so that we can eat as much as we want because we love it so much that if we just ate everything inside. I, we would be so unhealthy. Yeah. Y'all miss Disney so much. Yes. yes. We do. I just don't want to go to it right now because it's just not the Disney I love. I'm excited about some of the things I've added, like the cavalcades, but I want it to have everything that it had before. I don't want a reduced experience. Do you kind of hope that they do some of the cavalcades though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope they keep that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, th I thought you were saying I don't want that one with the parades, but like, no, I, I said, I said, I do enjoy the cavalcades yeah, that they added, yeah. but I want the regular stuff too. Yeah, like I, I want, I want to go when there's fireworks. Like and... the, the villain stuff looks really fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I just want, I want the whole experience. Yeah. Because like right now I you can't park go hop. back and yeah, I want to park hop. Mm -hmm. You don't eat leftovers. I feel like I, a lot of her stuff just like, I don't really like leftovers. There's a couple things I specifically like, but. I also don't eat a lot of things that I have we left over. We don't cook a lot. <laughs> that was another assumption that we don't cook. Yeah, we don't. We don't cook a lot and I, I don't really eat leftovers. But I don't like have the leftovers and then just toss them. I don't cook. There are no leftovers. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things like you're over YouTube, but you don't want to disappoint people. No. To be on YouTube for 10 years and not have moments of being over it would be a lie because you get frustrated with any career or thing that you're doing. Oh, it's funny. There's two about our husbands. One is your husbands don't like each other. And one is, do your husbands get along? They yeah, other. they get along Just and kidding. they work together. We all four work together. They work together more and we work together more. So we don't really see them throughout the day. We interact with them because there's crossover. They'll have yeah. questions about stuff in the warehouse inventory and stuff like that but we're not like working side by side nine hours a day mm -hmm. which is nice we get to see them but it's not like too much to where we're over. like i'm so excited to see them when i go home tracy is thrifty and stuff is a big spender like me i think we're both thrifty i don't I feel like used to, I would feel like I would buy something expensive and Tracy would, would never do that. But like recently, I feel like Tracy shocks me in the past couple of years. I feel like you'll buy, not big things, not big things, but. Like the coach backpack? Yeah. I don't know why. But it was a deal. I know. As long as it's a deal though, you're on board for it. As long yeah. as it's a good deal. Yeah. Not, not just a deal. Like these boots are real cute. I can't show them to you. Oh no, I don't want to scratch my, my faux spanks. These are cute. They're mm. on target.com. I got my regular size eight. And they're real dang cute. One of the assumptions is that we don't wear socks. Hold on, what socks am I? Oh, I'm wearing boring socks today. Oh no, I think dog here just went my drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is that? A they just wanted to see our feet. <gasps> they just they wanted just to see our feet. feet. Did you guys no. get brother? Did you know what's Yes. But like, look how nasty 
see my feet actually do look. Yeah, I ain't showing that. Like, uh -uh. I broke that toenail. He, he said he had talons. His toe, toes didn't look that weird. They weren't that bad. But I thought he was about to pull out some monster like, feet. somebody loves something about me, so that's fine. Aw, he's I, cute. He's, he's so cute. I feel bad. I want him to have somebody. I can't get my leg back. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, somebody saw us right now. Oh God. She's still mm. bad at flexible. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised there's not anything Wait. about like Botox this is gonna be or so long. Okay. or whatever. You rushed to University of Alabama. No. <laughs> no. Is that? Um, what was the number one comment that we've gotten over the last 10 years since making, well, not number one comment, what, but like. Mean Girls? Yes, that we yeah. look like the Mean Girls from school and that we. And we've told you guys that I was in band. My high school experience was horrendous. People were mean to me. I, mean, I was essentially in band because I danced. I was, it was in band in middle school and then in high school, um, I was on dance line, which is a part of the band. Couldn't wait to get out of high school. Couldn't wait to get out, out of college. I am thriving and living my best life in the last 15 plus years. Yeah, I am much cooler and better and happier out of high school Did not peak and in college. High school. Thank Did goodness. Did not peak in college. You're millionaires, but frugal. <laughs> don't think we're millionaires. I don't know what constitutes a millionaire. I don't either. We are frugal. I mean, yeah. I think the places where if you've followed us, you know, I've purchased one car in the last 16 years. I had my Civic in 2004. I was like 12. And then in 2017, I bought this car. So I got my Honda in 2008 and then in 2016 I bought my car and I'm only considering buying another car because my current car is an expensive car like type of car so the repairs would be expensive and it just went out of warranty and I'm just freaked out by that so that's the only reason I'm even considering them. You're both ambiverts. Heck yes. Yes. 100%. I lean more towards introvert though. I'm like an introvert that likes to entertain, but then like I want to be alone. And if I've done a lot, I want to be alone. Like I need to reset. Yeah. But I'm also only an extrovert if I have somebody with me that I that know. And if I'm by myself, I'm not. Forget it. College was hard for me because it was like leaving that comfort zone of people that you knew in high school, you know? And not that I had like a whole lot of friends, but I had people that I was comfortable with. And then going to college, it was like, especially when I went to x-ray school, it was just making new friends and... I also just want to, touching back on the money topic, save your money. Put it somewhere, invest it, save it. I want to have money when I'm older and I want to not worry. Like, I don't want to have to work if I don't want to work. I'm talking older, like, you know, retirement, older Tracy's fearful age. of older age. I already touched on the what am I going to do when I'm older and not yeah. have somebody to take care of me. And then I also talked about the feelings of like body changing with pregnancy and like... Well, see, the scary thing with that is it's so immediate. Yeah. But as you get older, you That's get... That's pretty gradual and you kind of get used to it yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis. Like you look in the mirror and you go, well, I got a few more wrinkles than I remember having, but uh, can't do anything about it. <laughs> I don't think I'm fearful any more than normal people are. Yeah. about it you know stephanie and i have never gotten botox or fillers or anything like that mm -mm. and i no, i wrinkles. almost feel like the people who have done those things are more fearful, fearful. yeah i don't know i mean I it could know. change and that's not to say that i have a problem with botox or fillers no again i've said i'm interested in them but i'm scared that either i won't like the way i look after and then i'll be mad at myself that i messed up whatever i had <laughs> And then also I recently recently saw a commercial that talked about fillers, if they go into blood vessels, can cause stroke and blindness, stuff. vision problems, stroke, not looking for any of those things. <laughs> no, no. And so, you know, I just think it's one of those things that people take very lightly. You know, I think I'm less fearful of old age and more fearful of not making it to old age. I just don't want anything to happen to the people I love. And yeah. I, I just don't want to be by myself. That I'm, you know, that would be. Yeah, I do have fears of that too. Which is why we are so like, live across the street from each other, close to our mom and dad and grandma, and we wish Heather lived here. You know, we've been trying to get her to move back for years. Hopefully that's on the horizon. <clears throat> Family is just really important and you only have one life and it's like, you got to soak it all up. Sadie said that we're into zodiac signs. Yeah, it's true. It really is. And Bucky makes fun of me for <laughs> it. We got into a conversation about it outside of our house under the stars. And I said, look, if the moon can change, the tides in the water on the earth there's the stars just things. things that moons can affect menstrual cycles like yeah. they talk about people being synced up with there's, the moon there's something right now i just saw it somewhere like the white moon cycle yeah 
there's a there's, there's a red there's like a blood moon cycle if you were on it if you were on your period right now i think you're in the white moon cycle well or something. i'm not on it and when it when i was on it last week it, you saw it on tiktok didn't you maybe i saw it on tiktok and it was talking about the blood moon and i'm pretty sure i was on mine during the blood moon mm. cycle so whatever go down in the comments and talk about the zodiac and stuff i think it's cool wait sadie she's nasa yeah i love that but I want to know your take on it because you're NASA. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what is your feeling on zodiac and stars and stuff like that? I'm not saying that the little astrology that stuff that it's like exact. No. But I do know that I can see people with certain signs, and I'm like, that tracks. I mean, we're you both, are we're both Sagittarius, a Gemini. You are definitely a Pisces, and you are definitely a Capricorn. Like, I can just I see those trends in people. Bucky yeah. is Taurus, and he is stubborn. And I would say, okay, like here's an example. Like me, Tracy, and our mom were all three Sagittarius, and our sisters not. She's and Pisces. there's a lot of similarities between me, Tracy, and mom. And Heather has like different. Just, it's just you can just tell. Like it's like almost yeah. you can tell that there's just slight differences. Yeah. Based on that, what is dad? He's a cancer. I don't know cancer that well either. But Tracy does not like people in her I bubble. I really and don't. I don't care. I really don't like it at all. That's, it's actually not true that I don't care. I think that I don't like people coming into my bubble, but I don't mind going into theirs. Yeah. Matt, a lot of times, will be doing something and like, like It'll irritate you and you're yes. like, stop it. And it it's might just be when you're okay. For it's when it. I'm inviting it. When yeah. I'm like, this can happen right now. Yeah. No, if it, I don't mind bubble interactions. I just have to. Yeah. I have to be ready for it. I was an annoying little sister, but when I got older, Tracy realized she was cool. That's me. that's true. I was very annoying. That's true. But I mean, I think all little sisters, you, you everyone feels that about their little sister. Maybe, but I feel like I was like a really annoying little sister. Yeah, but like we have a big age difference, and I just want to tell everyone, don't think just because you have a six year or a ten year age difference because we're six and Heather and stuff or 10 we all get along i mean once stuff hit about 15 16 we were good to go and it was just like best friends from there also mariah carey's relatives yes and who did i get last night christina schulman yeah from bachelor thank you do you know what is so interesting to me mm -hmm. how many people we get that are like different like ethnicities, ethnicities. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, because we ain't We're not. Different. <laughs> I mean, we're very, like, English, Irish, Scottishy, like, Heather's done the Ancestry.com stuff. Yeah, and I just think it's really cool because we get Mariah Carey. I get Shakira all the time. And now this Christina Schulman girl. Yeah. She's a very I just good... get the girl from Awkward a lot. I forgot her name. Tamara. Tamara. There's, there's a lot of, like, your best friends. You don't want kids. You're both natural blondes. No, we're not. One said, actually, that we're not natural blondes. We are, brood well, she's dirty blonde, kind this of. This is kind of close to my natural, maybe a smidge darker. Oh, I've been using the, a hair darker. the Caracolor Conditioner in Mocha, and I am loving it. I'm loving it more than any color I've ever had put on in a salon. We're strict bosses. When we need to be. I feel like we try to maintain a fun environment. Speaking of, we are currently hiring for a part-time warehouse. And also, you can always send resumes because there will be times where we think that we're not hiring. And then we'll go and back then, and look and see what we've received. Well, like, we'll have, like, a situation where we think we're not hiring. And then if the right person sends something and we feel like we have a spot for them, like, yeah. you could get a job without even having us hiring. You can send to workfornm at gmail.com. We'll put it down below. For the warehouse positions, you do have to be in Tuscaloosa because yeah, we need you to actually be in the warehouse doing the stuff. So. Yeah. I love that like, we're genuinely kind humans on and off camera. Look, we have our faults. I'm not saying that I never say anything that is mean or that I am perfect, but I don't ever want to be mean. I don't like being negative and I like making people happy. I'm a people pleaser. I think that, you know, if you put nasty out, that's what you attract back. And Stephanie and I My phone's getting hot. feel like you guys that watch us and have been a part of our YouTube journey are really nice people. And it's funny because when we used to do collabs and we would get some viewers from other people, sometimes they weren't nice. Yeah. And I'm like, what does that say about the person? Yeah. And it I sucks. It sucks because we liked the people we did collabs with. Yeah. I don't know. I just know that I'm very glad and thankful that the number of negative comments or meanness is minimal. And you best believe I'm going to block it when it comes through because boom, there's no room for that. We always say just be nice and we mean it. And if you're not going to be nice, then go watch something else. Just get out of here. We said it in the first video. We'll keep saying it. don't that. like this video you don't like this channel no one's telling you you have to watch it <laughs> there was a girl that commented and saying we were garbage bloggers and like she, she wished, wished we had our video quit and wished we had quit well why'd you come back 
to watch this video. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, we see most of the comments that come through. Yeah, I just think negativity breeds more. And you know, someone said, I feel like you want this to be a place for people to escape and yes. enjoy themselves. And that's absolutely what we want, you know? Mm -hmm. YouTube was that for me when I was working at the law school. I wasn't happy. It was a good job for the time and it was what I needed to find YouTube because I found it through that. YouTube was an escape for me yep. and it became this amazing thing for me and Steph and I'm so glad we've done it. And so I want you guys to get something good from it. Yeah. And you know, I like to think of YouTube, this YouTube channel as my house. And if I was having friends over to my house and somebody came over and they were being nasty to everyone, I would ask them to leave. Right. So if you come onto our channel and you are nasty, I won't even ask you to leave. I'll make you leave. Yeah. I'll block you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fine. If you want to be nasty, go be nasty on somebody else's channel that lets you be nasty. That's yeah. If someone has a problem with that, again, I would say, maybe not the place because yeah. we are just trying to create a place where people can come enjoy themselves have conversations learn things just watch something for fun have a good time just for fun and there's not enough things these days that are just for fun right i enjoyed my drink and my bagel and it was a good still time still enjoying it i got a big one friday tell us other videos you want to see from us because we're pretty open we're not putting ourselves in a box and we want to do things you guys enjoy watching maybe there's stuff you've seen on other channels you're like ooh, that'd be fun if tracy and stephanie did it let us know Give this video a thumbs up. Give us ideas if you want. And make sure you've subscribed if you haven't. And ring the bell. Bring in our channel back. Who knows what's going to happen. Sky's the limit. Actually, the top of my car is the limit right now. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. We sure will. Bye.